Hey guys, Kel of Family Handyman. The ability to warm up your car from the inside of your house is a win-win proposition. But believe it or not, there are a few negative perceptions about remote starters. Let's check them out. There are two schools of thought when it comes to remote starting your car and whether it can damage your engine. Some automotive experts believe that preheating your car for too long can cause wear and tear on your engine because it's working the hardest in those cold temperatures. Other auto professionals are less convinced. Even though there's a stigma around remote car starters, there's simply no data to prove these claims. In actuality, warming up your car will let your engine's oil warm up faster and it'll run smoother. Bottom line, if you think running your car before driving it is bad for your engine, don't do it. But if you like preheating your car before you drive it, there's truly no difference in getting in the car, turning the key and starting it, or doing it remotely. Another knock on remote starters is that they damage the car's battery. This isn't exactly true, but what they're referring to is that if you buy a car that doesn't have a remote starter and you install an aftermarket model improperly, it could damage the car's battery or the electrical systems. So make sure you get them installed by a professional. For more auto advice and tips, head to FamilyHandyMan.com.